So today we will try to make our simple file manager which is Thunar into a productivity hub. By productivity hub we mean that we, may, we have to make it as a front end to the terminal which is the god of productivity. So how we will do that? We will try today with Linux Mint to solve this one and We'll start with the Linux Mint XFCE. I have Tunar installed and if you notice, if I right click, you will see four things here. Open in terminal, open as root, create a link and search. In many distributions, you will not find these four because these four are uh, done by Linux Mint team. So how we check them? Before we check them, I want to show you something. So if I right click on the empty side here or on the directory, it will give me these four. If I pick any file and I right click, I will not have them. So this is also a thing to note. So only when I right click on a folder or on a empty space, I'll get these four. So let us start with these four, how to get them and where to elaborate on them. So, first we go to the edit, configure custom actions. I have, if you notice here, we have open in terminal, open as root, the link. There is one which I did not find now, SHA-256 and the search. And of course, there's one I created before in an earlier video in ISWM. So if I want to check this one, how it was performed, I double click. So it has a name, open in terminal. That's the one that appears in the menu. This is the description. EXO-open, which is a front end, XFCE front end for running applications. You put all of these, dash dash launch terminal emulator, which is the default terminal emulator. And I have here an icon. I can pick an icon. They picked this icon. You can pick any other icon. If you notice, you can pick the icons that they give you. They can pick an item from an image file, from emoticons, etc., etc. If we look at the appearance conditions, so this script, this uh, will appear only when I right click on a directory. So only when I click on a directory or a folder, it will be apparent. So this is for the terminal for open as root the same thing the name is open as root the command is pkexec which gives us the privilege to execute on a root level and tunar and also the working directory and of course there's the icon and for the appearance it appears only for the directory so you know the gist for the link it's the same thing create a link create a symbolic link the command is link minus s percent f what we mean by percent f is that the path to the first selected file or directory so let's say you are in directory documents so it will create a link from the directory documents to another link which has a name link to percent n how do you do it so let me first uh, Let's say I created a folder, I called it link, okay? So this is a folder. If I want to create a link for this one and place it somewhere else, all I have to do is right click. When I right click, of course, it is a folder. All these four will be apparent, open terminal, uh, root, link, and search. I create a link. So it will be called link to link. So as you, as you noticed here, it is called link to link. Maybe you can put here instead of link to shortcut for link. It will be instead of link to shortcut of link. So it depends on you. If you notice, this is a simple terminal command. I am using here it at, as an example. The other one, check SHA-256. This is a basic one and check SHA-256. The command is mint SHA-256 sum percent F. This is if you want to check the validity of the ISO and not only the ISO, any file, but here they they put the appearance only for star.iso and star.capitaliso and we put all of these excluding the directory. This action will appear. Example, 
uh, if I have 13.gpg, I right click, it is you will not find the SHA, you will find it in anything.iso. So if I right click, you get create uh, get the SHA sum. So this is the SHA sum, you can copy it and paste it whenever you want. So that's for the Linux Mint. There is one for the search. If you click this search, whenever you have a directory and you want to search inside the directory, you right click, it will uh, it will uh, go over Catfish. So it will open the application Catfish and we will search for this one. This one I put in an, uh, I created in an earlier video of Linux Mint and IceWM. So what does this do is whenever you have appearance of an image you have an appearance of an image star and image you put this command this command is you create a background for iswm iswm background dash i and you when i press percent f meaning the file that containing the image so instead of going to the terminal let's see and trying iswm bg minus i and you put the file name file path of the image you can if you are inside here you let's say this is the image let's say this is the image this is the background that I need of course this is a small one it cannot be a background but any image you have you right click it will be apparent set as wallpaper ISWM all the other PDF you will not find it only in case of images so it is very handy instead of to boost your uh, changing your wallpaper easily with this command so as you uh, as you can see you can create your own uh, custom action let us try some ourselves so configure custom action let's say I want to create uh, make a certain uh, script executable so we call it make it executable okay description no need description the command is of course check mod plus x and we need the file name and if i want the file name i need to press percentage f so it's very simple you you have to put an icon if you want let's say i i put this is an icon x executable x executable okay and and of course the appearance where would this one appear of course for text files it should be text files or other files if you want you can put here the text files let's say star.sh let's say semicolon important the semicolon or star dot app image so if you have app images and you want to make them executable you add these or if you want you can only put star so every file you can make it executable it depends on your taste so now I have one make it executable so as you can see all sh and app images will have this one let's say I ISO I right click it will not be apparent here for the app images if you notice here it is not executable if I right click and make it executable it will be executable also this one make it executable I press it make it executable it will be executable that's one thing another thing let's say if I want to create some directories let's say I have a uh, I, I like to create some directories which I use all the time for example make personal directory 3 for example okay and the command is instead of writing uh, a terminal command it's better sometimes to write bash minus c in order to use the curly braces make directory minus p let's say and i'll put the directory that i want to create let's say i want to create and inside this directory i want to put another directory and so what i did is bash minus c make directory minus p so the directory i created the directory project when 2022 and inside I created a some folders and here using the curly braces the folders are week one week two week three week four week five so let me close it if you want an icon let's say this one press ok and appearance 
whenever I have a directory, I put it. So I press OK. So I have now make personal directory tree. So what happens now if I'm here because here is a directory. If I right click, you will get this one make personal directory tree. I press it. If you notice, I have now a folder and I have 52 folders available. Of course, you can customize this instead of projects 2022. You can write a YAD script to specify what is this one and inside uh, and week one, week two, you can also customize it using YAD. But this is for another video. Another thing, let's say if I want to convert this JPEG into PNG. Also, it's very simple. You can utilize the image magic directory convert. We need the file, which is percent f that's the beauty you can utilize the the file directly and the name of the other file it will include the name of the others but we need to add p and g keyboard shortcut no need icon okay and for the appearance only let it appear only on gpg because only we need to change the gpg image files let us put all of these but only star.gpg this will appear okay so now what happens let's say I have this one XPM if I right click you will not find it but for any GPG I have convert GPG to PNG I right click on it so now I have a PNG image instead of this one another thing let's say if uh, this PDF I already installed an application called PDFTK which can manipulate PDF documents. This is a document of 17 pages. Let's say I want to create, always to break these PDFs. Always to break these PDFs. Okay, so that the command is PDF TK. You put the file name, which is start F and burst. That's the command. And appearance condition only for star dot PDF and put all of these for example press OK so only for PDF it will be apparent break PDF I click it and it breaks the PDF into the 17 pages of course any any program you want to automate you can make it as a terminal you can you can put it in a terminal you can also put it in tunar so you will not forget it again lastly we want to give you a glimpse of what can be done using uh, these and one thing i found is a website which is move to gitlab this one is tunar custom actions you have to install a deb file okay so we install the DB, DEB file. Let us go to the DEB file. Go open in terminal. sudo dp tunar custom. I put the password. There is some packages there that need to be installed. Okay. So it should solve it. Okay, so it is installed now. So all what we did is we installed it. It says there is some dependencies. I put sudo app dash dash fix broken install and all these dependencies, they are also installed. So we installed it. Okay, so after installation, we don't have anything. Let us log in and log out again and we'll come back. Okay, we we'll come back to Thunar, documents, I right click look what happened now for all the files are already installed this one this one is uh, this one is the old one so we have encryption turn clockwise if I want to turn it clockwise look what happened you could have turned it clockwise turn it anti-clockwise it will be the same as before convert to another format let's say I want to convert it to PNG let's say look how many all of these you can change it not only PNG let's say PNG 
I press OK. So if you notice 13.jpg, 13.png, it, it is much better than this one. Another thing, let's say if what we have convert to grayscale, you can convert it to grayscale directly. You can shrink the image. If you want to shrink it by 50%, I press OK. If you notice now it is smaller. If you want to check the checksum, if you remember the, the other one, only for ISO, this is for all. You can check the MD5 for the image. Convert to a single PDF. If you have all these files, you can convert them to a single PDF, the files that we saw before. Fill transparency also the same. And if you don't like all of these, you want to change them as you want, what you can do is we go to edit and here you can remove the ones that you don't like. We only scratched the surface concerning uh, this custom actions. You can, depending on your workflow on, and on your usage, you can use the one that suits you in order to boost your productivity even more. Thank you guys and we'll be back in another video.